phrase like you play the character to learn the matchup better. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if it pays off here. First game. Pez Charlie, one of the many king mains in the UK. As we say, the UK is the country of Steve, Swarons, and Kings. Yep. The, these are the three characters you're going to see so much of, more than any other character. I think this is good, though, because, you know, there being so many Kings, you can practice Ooh. your throw breaking. But he did yep. not break that throw. It's huge damage. Because I mean, he couldn't, because he, he was in the middle of the power yeah, crush, right? Yeah, exactly. So, got to be careful with that. That is another good move well from King as well, the, um, the body. Body shot, which I believe is plus unblock as well. Uh, yep. So, like, this is the thing. Master Ray, uh, like, when the Phantom is almost dead, this is the t Yeah, you've got to be careful. Yeah, exactly. This character hits hard. But I think he went a bit too, uh, too in there. So, Pesciari takes the first round. I mean, uh, I feel like King is a catch I feel like you shouldn't be too defensive against because that is something he excels at. Yeah. Like, look what we just saw there. He closed the distance with forward forward one, which is an amazing safe mid counter hit launcher. Because he was like, he was turtling and trying to do moves from mid range and it caught him. Yep. I mean, playing defensive against King is just going to open you up to his throw game. And you don't want that. I mean, look at that. Shining Wizard not broken. And there you go. Down forward one to take it. And it's set point so far. I feel like against King, you have to be aggressive like, like yeah. that. But to be fair, he did duck and get that on him. So we'll see what happens here. I mean, I use Yoshi against King. And I, I feel like King is one of Yoshi's worst ever matchups because... He doesn't have the pokes to open King up, and if if full crouch sweep is blocked from King, it's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah. But when I use a character like Miguel, Ooh, doesn't break the giant swing that's that gonna hit the wall. Buffer. I think. Yep. Yeah. And he's massive is he gonna damage. Do is he gonna do rage art? Is he gonna do ah, the safe homing move to take it. First set to Pez Charlie. Wow. But as I was saying, like um, you, if I play a character like Miguel, on the other hand. It's much more of a struggle for King because he's much more poking based and Miguel's moveset is actually crazy when he's got you on the back foot. And King can't enforce his throws if he's put on the back foot. Yep. And I especially feel like Phantom style is going to suffer a bit against King more in, in this game more exactly. than it would in other ones because of things like forward forward one. King did not have a long range powerful mid tool no, no. in previous games like no. that. Something which just covered a huge like Raven has wonky, has strange hurt boxes. Yes. Right? But Ford Ford 1 scrapes the floor. You're not yeah. avoiding that. That's with one of the hurt. lowest yeah. hitting mids in the game. Yeah. Like Ford Ford 1 from King, Ford 1 plus 2 from Yoshi. There are some mids that, you know, hit so low for a mid, you wouldn't believe it. Like, even when a character hits the floor, like their back literally touches the floor in a combo, the Ford Ford 1 will hit. <laughs> Ooh, nice ground throw. And Pest Charlie making some big boy reads here as well. Like, he's clearly, like, Clearly going in like with his with his offensive, but he's not being careful. He's not being careless outside. I, I, like, I like mo I like a lot of his play here. Nice, nice uh, black hole from Phantom here. I feel like Phantom knows he needs to be aggressive, but he's getting caught at times where Pez Charlie is already pressing a button. And King's counter hit tools are really good. The back one especially. Yep. And like that back one is another move you got to be very careful about with with Raven in specific. Specifically, because it has a yeah. tremendously high hitbox. But nice. But uh, he's, he's done a good job of placing it. There. Now we have, yeah, now we have some nice. phantom stuff. It's Unlockable. time for phantom stuff. Time for phantom. Oh, but gets counter hit forward. And is he, yeah, how much is he cognizant of the throws here? Oh, I think he's being a bit too hesitant, though. He may have the life, but gets thrown out of his up forward four. Does the cartwheel. Ooh, that Cha was the, the a chariot. Gamble and a half. Oh, oh is that going to hit the wall? Another. Big giant swing. Oh, close doesn't enough. Make, doesn't doesn't take, take it. it. It's easier to take in season two. Oh my goodness. Both on rage. What's going to happen here? Oh yeah, that's going to that's going to beat uh, <laughs> knees to knees. But her one was already coming out. I think that's going to bring some confidence from Phantom here. Definitely. He would have been in trouble without that. Goes for the counter hit launch at the start of the round, but gets crushed by a down four. Nice quicksand catastrophe. Goes for the chariot. That is not guaranteed. That is not the punish for that. That's minus 14, my friend. Oh, he's getting hit by the throw game now. Now the phantom throw game is coming out. You play king and you don't break throws. <laughs> that is the classic. Oof. Nice break on the shining wizard there. And nice down free to end that. That move, that low is actually risky to use. Her down free in particular. I'm sure king could probably launch it on block. All right, much nice. more confidence come from phantom here. There's the re-splat into the big damaging chariot wall combo. Massive life lead from Phantom here. Oh, but doesn't break the uh, executioner drop. 
Good break on the on the uh, on the eats the low grab. into guaranteed armored crusader, and there's the down three again to take it, and it's one all. Now those three rounds were very convincing from Phantom. Very. I, f I feel like when Phantom saw that he was getting his momentum, that that was pretty much the the key factor because then Pez Charlie started getting scared. Yeah, I mean what we saw is that like Phantom struggled with Pez Charlie's offense, but. Like, Pez Charlie struggled a lot more once Phantom got rolling. So yeah. the question is, like, who is more aggressive about enforcing their game, I think? Because I don't think it's... I don't think... Whoever goes on the back foot, I think, is going to lose this one. I feel like... I mean... Pez Charlie just needs to not be scared with uh, Raven antics, because... Once you start getting scared, I mean, like that backswing blow that um, Raven did into the low, that's not actually a natural combo. You can actually see that yeah, low yeah. coming. But obviously, Pez Charlie was in a mindset where he was, he was way too afraid of Phantom shenanigans. And yeah, it's, stuff, it's little stuff like that. You just have to be ready for, for the uh, nonsense. I mean, because he was enforcing his game on Phantom in the first set. Like, quite easily. Because Phantom was playing really hesitant, and Pez Charlie has to come and force that hesitant um, mindset again. Yeah, if he I can. Mean, and what we saw to like push him on the defensive was a lot of just like unconventional Raven stuff, a lot of haze, yes, a lot of, a lot of like, haze. You know, and and a, lo a lot of this stuff it might not be very optimal, no. but it's very disorienting. And that's that's here Phantom. Oh, all all standing heel hold. What's the follow up? And here we see like the aggression goes like, for the STF. Yep, that's and uh, chunks of damage in itself. Tough, yeah, nice side roll there. Ooh, nice up forward forward to stop that. Gets the throw. Killer B. Oh, Ooh, blocks the quicksand, but, but doesn't, doesn't punish. punish. That would have been very close to dead there with the breakable wall. Ooh, big whiff there. There's yeah. the launching punch sweep. So we just saw a lot of big gambles and some of them which didn't get punished in that round. Mm. Nice haze hey. launch right there. Oh, he's going Ooh, for the unblockable. That hits grounded. You nice. just have to kind of eat that. It's good he didn't stand up though, because that would have wall splat. Gets the back, back turn throw. throw. Shake the head. No. Crack. Ugh. Goes for the elbow chop for Oki. Aqua Spider. Yeah, I think this is looking Ooh, good for Phantom gets here. floated out the Killer B there. Nice block. And gets him the up forward four again. Match point. Ooh, goes for the counter hit launch right there. Corp has Charlie pressing buttons. Crusader hit and, hit and grounded. Oh, 10 yep. hit combos. Oh, but yeah. it doesn't come from the back. But he knows when to stop. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, he blocks the, back, the black hole, but doesn't punish. Yeah, you've got a couple of good punishes there. Primarily back throw. Nice. Very low nice parry. parry. Was that intentional? Was he going for Possibly. a for two? <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur uh, King Main not impressed. <laughs> I might be. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's got to get up here without. Dino, Dino knows when to respect things. But there we go. Ah, uh, and gets him with the mid, uh, the mid spin kick. Phantom takes that back from Pez Charlie. Very nice. Moving on, we have my other District G teammate, the Phantom, going up against Rise Chicken Maru. Rise versus District G. Let's go, Josie versus Master Raven. Now, I feel I don't really know much about this matchup, to be perfectly honest. I feel like it's a, it would be a good matchup for Josie, because so. yeah, uh, Crouch Dash three again, weak punishment. Oh yeah, Crouch Dash two, good at controlling her at range. But Chicken Maru is quite a he's quite a he's quite a defensive player in his own I would say in, so, in yeah. his own way. So. And he goes in. He, he goes might, in when he wants to go. Yeah, yeah. So that might mean that he's he gets in a bit of trouble against like Phantom's crazy style. But I think I, I would I would favour Josie in this matchup for sure. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes here. Both are just kind of chipping away at each other slowly, playing the spacing game as well. Gets in with the black hole. The black hole drew you in, my friend, and you've been launched for it. That is one of that is one of Phantom's absolute like trademarks. Doesn't and break the dead. one plus two throw, and that is dead. Neck is broken as your spine cracks on the floor. Let's go, round two. Goes for the chariot and he goes he goes for the yeah, very, very the unsafe mid. The big read. Armored Crusader gets blocked. That is, well, not the max punish, but it's a punish regardless. Yeah, the thing is with, with uh, Josie, it's not, a, it's not a bad choice for her to um, go for her 10 frame over a 12 frame, just yeah. because 
her 12 frame doesn't give great Oki and her, and her, her 10 frame gives such huge bluff frames. Yeah, definitely. Gets in with the Warhound into that Oki. Oh, teleports through her and he Ooh, reads that very nicely. Nice, nice low parry on the stance low and that is dead. Excellent low parry from Phantom. Yeah, he, he saw it coming for sure. I've noticed in casuals he's actually been very wary of lows. Oh, nice. nice! He stopped the string there and was aware that it was launch punishable. Good stuff from the Phantom here. Back turn wall game. Goes for Black Hole, just Gets teleports through. Teleport. Nice! And Gets him when Phantom's haste. feeling very nice punish there. Mm -hmm. That is minus twelve. Uh, yeah, Phantom is always—you can always tell when he's feeling himself when he's when he's got his crazy stuff <laughs> like coming that. out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, Armor Crusader gets blocked again. Gets the max punish this time. Yeah, that is that is when you want the knockdown punisher when it's pushing the guy towards the wall. Gets him That's with the sweeping punch though, and that Especially is dead when he breaks stage. the floor. Could potentially be not, no, quite. not quite. Plus frames. Nice what low, a parry. low parry. That was sick. Is he gonna break the floor and then? Oh is that no, gonna, gonna is go that gonna it. reach? Yeah, it's gonna reach. Oh, just just barely. I, I thought that's that, dead. I, I knew that was a thing, but I thought it was gonna whiff from that distance. But clearly not. Nice from Chicken Maru. Not out just yet. Red, he was gonna do a jab into a low kick there to finish. Phantom's gonna be a bit more wary with what he finishes rounds with now. Yep. And uh, you know, don't he doesn't need to be that worried about about risking Crouch Dash Three. I, I feel it's yeah. something that's good for. The main, it, it's it's more yes. of an issue. That's yeah, all I mean, she that's, gets. That's all she gets. Who cares? The, it's, the, the main thing is that you, you you're worried about the stuff like while standing, getting counter hit out of it while while standing two or yes. cross forward four that, more that, than you are it getting blocked. That jackknife elbow is very strong as a counter hit launcher. But I don't think Phantom utilizes it that much compared to a certain Tishimon. Yeah, or like I, I feel like that's probably one of the. I would say one of the flaws in Phantom's game is that he doesn't use that move enough. Yeah. Like, it is it is possibly our best move. Just chipping him away with Switch Dance. Gets him with Warhound and he presses buttons so he gets counter hit. And this has been such a patient match. We're running out of time here. Ten yeah, seconds. ten seconds. And the life is in is Phantom's it, uh, favor. Into Chicken Mario needs to do something. Yeah, the up classic. Up the time. classic. Classic. Is he... He didn't press no. a button. Yeah, I feel I feel what he thought uh, Phantom was gonna do. Phantom is obviously known for doing up back fours. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, he probably yeah. thought he was gonna do an up back four to get away in those two seconds and then hit him out of it with the rage art. Yeah, it was a solid But read. Phantom was smart and he knew. So he's looking over here nodding at me, he's like, I knew what was coming. And you know it too, Kane. <laughs> and here we're going to the Final Fantasy 15 stage, Hammerhead. We're gonna visit Cindy's garage. And obviously meet Noct uh, Noct uh, bros. I still feel like this stage should have remained the way it was when it first got revealed. At least let it be like the one stage that actually feels like it's a Tekken 4 stage, but no, you had to go put walls in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care if the uneven ground is gone. At least make the stage like, accessible everywhere. <laughs> Imagine like fighting to the point where you actually get inside the garage. That would have been sick. Or even the shop over there. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been nice, like unfortunately. We, 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 we're going to take the fight to the shop. Uh, let's buy some potions while we're at it, get our health back up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, Tekken 4 stages were kind of weird. Massive, uh, massive. <laughs> Very massive. Anyway, oh. about that. Wow, that was a massive can it. That did chunks. Yeah, he's going to get a decent wall combo from this and... Okay, Phantom in a very scary, at a very scary health here. But, who, but Phantom does not care if yeah. he's in scary health positions. I mean, he's got he's got a lot of damage. Oh, he messed wow, up and he's he dead. He, if he gets him to the wall, that should be that goes for the rage drive. Oh, that was that yeah. was a uh, interesting choice. Parry again, <laughs> parry again, <laughs> parry again. <laughs> this is the Phantom special. Oh, oh backswing blow. He's gonna get him. He's gonna he's get him. him. Oh. He's got him. Amazing. I feel like even Switch Stance 1 would have been not quick enough. Nah, nothing would have been. Yeah. Clip that. That was awesome. Clip that, guys. That nice. was a sick moment. Four parries into a backswing blow to take the round. What are you guys saying? UK action right here at Red Bull Gaming Sphere in Shoreditch. All right, maybe Phantom feeling himself a bit too much there. <laughs> yeah, he's Getting already a bit lost wild. All his life. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to stop doing it. No. Warhound gets blocked. The haze into Aqua Spider. All right, Chicken Mario. Uh, yeah, Chicken Mario a yeah. lot more. And we see it. Will, will Phantom? I think Phantom's going to risk up forward both kicks. Both kicks here. Yeah, he he knew that low from the chariot string was coming yeah. all day, every day. He's the kind of guy who will make that kind of read. 
Raven right. can, now, can now actually use Crusader to punish that elbow now. It's minus 14 and they made yep. it at 14 frames fast. But guess the armored version of it. Wall bounce, Ooh, but just that, shy just of the wall. About. And it definitely would have been dead. Goes for the armor move. That, is my, that was minus 14 anyway. So even if he blocked yeah. that, it would have been launched like that. All the way to Big the other wall. Ugh. Damage. Goes for the setup. I respect both that, that was, attempt and that block. That was, that, was very, good, that was good from both of them. That was very smart from Chicken Maru. Yeah. He didn't do the while standing 2-1 because he expected that he was going to parry. He went for the full crouch yeah, run yeah. instead. It all made sense. All made sense, but still took that round though. And this is, I believe, set point for the Phantom. And Chicken That's Maru, be big damage. Back. Yep, gets the reef flat. Oh my goodness, the Phantom is wild. Nice. Can't hit the, spring there. Yeah, it gets the counter hit confirm. Again, nothing special on these moves, Whoa. but he's pretty much dead. Ah, there that we go. Is, I think that is it. The bat turn pressure was a bit too much for Chicken Maru, and the Phantom goes through to top. That yeah, that's an interesting choice. I think. Oh, he actually went for Noctis. Yeah, um, that, I think that would be an int that would be a useful choice against Phantom style. Because Phantom does tend to like want to draw people in from with, a distance. Yep, he does. But you can with Noctis, you can obviously just forward to Yeah, you can just down forward to him as soon as he misses from anywhere. Yep. Drops the combo, Drops. unfortunately. Yeah. Doesn't block the low. Big I reads think. from Phantom early. Drops gets the combo, yeah, but... Drops it and gets I the... I think he actually meant that. The, <laughs> the weird, not actually a mix-up. Nope. Oh, he actually Back does the mid. It. Instead of the high. And uh, Noctis is pretty good because he can launch uh, Raven's down back four. Yep. But the, the problem with Noctis, obviously, in any matchup, is that his ability to make comebacks is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> because his demo man is it has incredibly small, ri has incredibly <laughs> short range, and his lows are trash. Yep. Uh, so this is the thing that he might be able to punish Master Raven if he gets her on the back foot, but if she gets a significant life lead, Phantom will just wait him out. Oh no! With punish there. And that's the first down back two of the game that I've seen so far. Nice duck, nice there, duck there, but doesn't uh, go for the launch instead. Nice throw Very break nice there. throw break. Does a random warp strike. Oh, just a bit late on the punish there. But nice punish by Phantom. Nice ah, <laughs> that was that, that was anime as hell right there. <laughs> Whatever was going on there. Nice. nice. And this should be dead. This should be dead. Don't but think he needs to he doesn't need to do anything fancy. Don't do anything fancy. Yeah, and he doesn't. So I'm guessing that Senpai Shiki is probably gonna go to Steve after this match if he loses. I think so. This is the problem. Uh, whoop. Whoa, random aura. Yeah, gets the down back both punches. And goes for Oki instead. Yeah, this is the thing is that Phantom actually has very hard defense to break if you get behind on him. Uh, because he will he will just proactively keep you out, and I think Senpai Shiki is finding this out. Well, now he's being a bit more patient, which is paying off for him. But nice. that was not patient at all, and didn't do a low. I knew it. But yep, um, one nil to the Phantom, and he goes straight to character select, and Phantom doing a weird hand gesture. <laughs> yeah, that's his that's his uh, trademark. He's always active, man. Energetic. Fan the Phantom. If I say Phantom, he gets offended. Yes, this is, of course, the Phantom. The Phantom. Jungle Outpost. We have a balcony break stage. But I'm not sure how Steve does against Raven. Um, It's a strange matchup. Oh, and he's going Law. Oh, Law. What? what? Um, uh. I mean, this is... This is useful because Law gets consistent good punishment on some of Raven's key moves, but it's also uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty it's pretty good matchup for Law, I think. Gasain saying he knew it in the chat. Starts off the round with down forward one, which got buffed in season two for some reason. We don't know why. Brilliant whiff punch there from Phantom. Yeah, again, this is the thing. You cannot let Phantom get the life lead on you. It's very hard to track down if you don't. Doesn't punish the back one, too, because maybe yeah. he was expecting the third hit, but a nice launch there from Phantom, and this is going to the wall. Yep. That's going to be close dead. to dead. Oh, he's is dead. it dead? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Shadow and Miss Practical sh uh, showing their support for their boy. A downfall 4 is actually launch punishable, but it is, you know, tricky. 
Okay, and nice then you'll, you'll, most people will wait for the second hit. Wow, Ooh, goes for the big read. Oh, doesn't actually yeah. balcony break there. Nice, perfect there right. to answer back. So maybe Law wasn't a bad idea? He's just warming up. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. Raven has a lot of launch punishable. Uh, Ooh, nice, nice duck. duck. But this combo Lo has to be adjusted. Yep. And yep. Wow, wall break. This wall is going to go all the way to the other wall. No, messes up the yep. actual wall carry, so he couldn't follow up with the wall combo. It doesn't that is that. not guaranteed. It's only minus 13, 13 I think. 13, yeah. Right, but now Phantom has to make make the life back. Tries to go for the banana peel, but whiffs. Yep. One, two, three, but not counter hit. Doesn't break the throw. This is going to be very close. Life's almost even. Nice punish nice. there. He's going to go. Back dash there from Phantom. Rage drive. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nicely predicted. Nice. And then Phantom on set point. Yep. He opted for the up forward forward just in case he did a low. And he goes oh, for the big launch. Messes up his uh, level three but gets back turn hop kick. That and yeah, it's combo. all going downhill now. Nice throw break here. Back this to back. And this is probably it. He has to make a big comeback. Yeah, back go. turn down four. Perfect. Very, very solid. Solid. Fundamentals wins. But here we go. First match of winners finals which will be a first to three on the geese howard stage counter hit two one so this is this is the thing is that kane is already out to a small lead and this, this is important in this matchup because uh phantom it, phantom style is not that great at breaking down type of defense he tends to want to bait people into stuff he doesn't oh no, no throw, throw break, break from kane though and that's a position switch as well. So Kane now has his back towards the wall and he's trying to sidestep away from it. Phantom should just be pushing him towards the wall. Opting for the two <laughs> strings. Yep. Just a bit late on that. Down back four. No flash there. Good. Because he would have got launched. Nice throw break there. Kane's probably going to do his rage drive. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, this is the thing. He normally, sp yeah, he yeah. normally spends it. He like spends it really early. Yeah, always spends it early. And wow, he looks spends a bit more of his remaining ra uh, rage on this, but uh, Phantom's no just going to run away. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> All right, Phantom with the first round in that match. And here we go. Starts off the round with down 4 four, surprisingly, into the Fabuki knee. Puts his sword away. Ops for while standing forward into Kin 1. And he just gets counter hit. That's a yeah, so there's, a, there's a wall break here, so... And he Ooh, goes for I the don't, I don't like that. Whoa, it does. Oh, could have gotten a back 2-1 there in his back. But maybe he's just wondering about the range. Just a bit late. Wow, some, that, some yep. ninja stuff going on there. The ninjas versus ninjas. <laughs> now we have a lot more space uh, that the balcony, I mean the wall has broken. Nice block and punish there on the down back 4 by Kane. Pushes him towards the wall. That's a common strat by Yoshi players. Running free into forward 1 plus 2. Yeah, I mean, you can't really do anything, anything <laughs> about it, so... You might be able to power, I think you can power crush it, but... It's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Phantom with... The Phantom with his back against the wall. 2-2, two, two, Kin 1 plus 2. Doesn't punish it. Doesn't punish the Kin forward 2 as well. That move is minus 13, but has pushback. Running cross chop into the... The unblockable. parried. Well, he parries that easily. Very nice. Running free. Does down back 4 on hit. Oh yeah, Phantom recognizing he needs to make some gambles here because clock is ticking. Oh, and there Gets we go. Gets the rage drive. This is going to be... He okay, now it's going to have to be Kane fighting back because he's going to be he at just the life sit deficit. Back. Sit back. You can do rage drive. Oh, no, no! Why did he do that? It's uh, just the habits from Phantom. He does like to do up, up oh. forward, up back forward. He challenges at the end of the... Often challenges at the end of the round. Oh, nice. A block and launch punish there from the Phantom. Yeah, Kane has been trying to get the advantage at the beginning of the round a lot of the time with... Full crash down 4 4, but it is obviously launch punishable. Much faster in this game than it used to be, but. And homing as well. Yep. Phantom. Now. How, oh, it just drops the while standing 4. Maybe while standing 1 would have worked in that situation. Does down 4 1 2, but the Phantom does not duck the second hit. And there we go. Bang. Final round. And the music is nice. <laughs> just Oxford down 4, cheeky. Crouch down forward four has so much range. But and Kane is uh, Kane is very concerned with getting the round at the beginning here, and now he's managed to get the life lead, push Phantom back, 
And Phantom now has to battle back. Doesn't Ooh. duck that. Yeah, I think he he was thinking about ducking it. Gets hit by the wall Gets bounce. Just a bit too far away for it to actually bounce though. Kane tried to option, option select with the low to the mid, but just ate the mid. Another just really close, well contested match here. Like the life lead is in Kane's again, favor, no duck. but nice punish on the back turn power cross. Nice break, otherwise he would have been close yep. to death. Doesn't punish, punish that. that. I'm not sure, he didn't have much available there. I don't know if his jabs would have worked. Oh, Ooh. wow, now he's doing ninja stuff. Punish, there we go. Yeah. I believe that's 2 now. I think it's 1 now. That was, that was that one was the first match. game. Whoa. <laughs> that <took> whatever. <laughs> like, that was as back and forth as you're likely to get almost every round close to timeout. <laughs> Okay, Kane just opts for the spin there, just for better positioning. Full 1 plus 2. 2, 1. Kane actually loves that move. When um, the Season 2 patch dropped and he found out that was counter hit uh, combo, he spammed that. I remember we were here at uh, Red Bull and he was spamming that against Gusain and Gusain was like, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead, yep. 1 0 to Kane. Counter hit. Yeah, like, like I've said before, this is not a move that uh, Phantom uses that much. I think Competitive tissue one, yeah. Yeah, or like Korean Raven players. Like, I think it's definitely one of her best moves. I'm not sure why he doesn't like it. Oh, okay, just uh, hit him with the flash. Down 2-2, two, two, delay. Oh, puts the sword away. Oh, probably tried to go for the NSS sweep there. Starting to get a bit, a bit fancy there, but Phantom brings Phantom it back. Full crash mix-ups. There we go, and, and then this is death. NSS, full crash down forward four, dead. Down forward three. <laughs> down forward three, sorry, I beg your pardon. <laughs> That's an old uh, Yoshi move from yeah, Tekken yeah. 3. I don't know why they took it away from him, only for to give it him back. Like, what's the point? Just give it to him, man. He had that in Tekken 5. So again, these are close competitive matchups, but you can see that Kane is starting to pull away, just in terms of the round count. Doesn't block the low this time, and the wall just messes up the combo. Yeah, you gotta with that one. You gotta be either low parry or just be aware that the, the teleport is probably coming afterwards. But Ooh, yeah, Phantom to about wall? to about to run this back, and, and but he's trapped in the wall. Needs to work his way out of there very carefully. Don't yeah, don't press anything there. Ooh, front. that looked like a counter hit. Counter hit, yeah. That would have been close to dead. Nice. Nice option to select. Nice option select on the door knocker. Um, while standing, Yoshi's while standing one options are one and two, and both are high, so it's duck. <laughs> nice counter hit there. Yeah, you're right. He should be using that move a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Key Goes. charge into the Ooh. unblockable. Very hits, hits grounded. Like difficult. Parry into the back turn down one, which is guaranteed. Full cut down for four twice, three wow. times. Wow! Tries to do the rage drive there, but <laughs> ends up getting the gonna soul siphon. Can do the yeah, rage, yep. rage drive. You gotta just wait until it's gone. They both spent their rage now, but Phantom has a slight life lead, and you can see he's just being patient. We'll crash down for four. Yeah, yep. there we go. <laughs> Couldn't have been anything else. Okay, random dragonfly. He's gonna, he's gonna, yeah, heal, bait him with med. Maybe could have floated. If he just did a single jab, doesn't time sticking down, slight advantage. And Phantom loves that move. Final and round again. District G off. Back and forth. Running free. Forward one plus two. That was looked like a counter hit on the two jab. Down two one, no duck on that. Phantom bringing out all the stops. Back two two, both punches. Not a not a low you see very often. Kane with his back towards the wall break. Instant while running free. So in general, like uh, Kane has gotten the advantage, but then he stops using mix-ups once he's got the life advantage. He's just kind of oh pressuring Phantom, and Phantom has been chipping steadily, chipping his way back into almost every round. Nice. Goes for the, yeah, he goes for the spin, spin. Doesn't quite have enough time to get it there. Gets, gives himself rage, and spends it instantly. Drive. 
Doesn't punish the down 2 2. Maybe he was expecting the third here. Ah, uh, doesn't get the jab extension. And, and that's going to be close, to, close dead, to dead. But he doesn't have the oh, time. Oh, yep. There we go. Wow. These matches. Both matches went to final round. Yep. And every, almost every round lasted almost until timeout. <laughs> that's when you can tell these guys have been playing each other like so often, man. That's launch punishable, but maybe the range wouldn't have uh, launched it. I think it's, uh, her while standing one is very, has very long range. I think it probably would have been all right, but nice block on, the, nice block there from Phantom. The Phantom, he's this is one of the first the, the rounds where he's done the best at the beginning. Like That's this is definitely uh, he's showing a little more pressure here, but just gets, gets him to like walk into the down forward three one. The string is safe in this game. Yep, tag two it wasn't. <laughs> He's gonna spend his rage driver waiting for it. Yeah, this is the longest oh, I've ever seen. Oh, could have committed yeah. the down back one one. This is the longest I've ever seen Kane and do without dead. it, and he's dead. Now Phantom actually has the advantage this time round. Maybe momentum could be in his favor. Yeah, I think this might be uh, since the beginning of the set. This is the first time he's really been up. Nice, very nice. There. Why did he? He tried to go for the parry, go. but it was yeah not available on the headbutt. Ooh. Too much risk from Phantom and a perfect there. there yeah. from Kane and Trench answering back on that round. Like, come on, man, don't doubt me. <laughs> Taste my blade, <laughs> as he would say. Natural combo. That, oh, that's the first time yeah, he's first used time the Manji Locus. That as well. And it's, it's pretty good against Raven. She can't, can't punish it that hard. Um, but, you know, Phantom slightly chi just chipping it back. Very, you know, very few risks considering how unconventional these two characters are. They're both playing relatively safe. Does a 2 2, Kin 1 plus 2s, and Phantom does not punish it. Kane actually not going for the full crouch down forward 4 anymore. And nice, nice stuff there. there. He spins out of the way, speed, then Kin parry from Phantom. Spin. Oh, could have actually went for more, but there we go. That's right. That's right, Fergus. <laughs> Taste my blade. No homo. <laughs> nice, nice duck, duck on the back there. turn. Oh, he messed up his combo. Very unfortunate. That would have been... I think there was a breakable wall there as well. 2-2. Two, two. Down forward 3-1. Spin a Rooney. Phantom breaking him down a bit better this time. He didn't let that miss combo get to him. There we go, there's a full crouch down for four. Kane actually bringing it out now. Nice Very there, nice but no duck punish. as well. Two back one. Yeah, notice that he was going to get that. Oh, oh, and this should be dead. Yep. Just, hey, yep. But, yep. Final, final round again. Final round again. Is this first to two or first to three? First three. Winner's final. First to three. Good lord, this is going to take forever. <laughs> Hurry up, you guys. Kane taking a bit more risk now, doing the full crouch down for four. Phantom trying to get his back away from the wall, uh, but he's pushing Kane towards the wall as well. What? Just whiffs the throw. Nice block and perfect punish there from Kane. Down forward 3 1. No follow up after that. And Is that 4 3 not guaranteed after that? That's, that's what I was thinking, yeah. but maybe. He just likes the setups from 3 4. Yep. Nice whiff punish there. And this should be a combo. It still, oh, it messes it up because of the screw. Too close to the wall. And oh, oh nice reversal. reversal. Reversal on it. Yoshimitsu, he has, has the rage, rage drive. He's, you know he's, he's going to use it. it. He's going to use it. Is he now? Not? Told yeah, you. There. I told you now. He, he has. He's, and he's dead. He is Kane and Trench. I said he's going to use <laughs> it now, and he did. All right. 2 1. <laughs> These reads from me, man. No, I'm joking. Kane uses that all the time. Man. Yeah, yeah. He's when he's got it. He's <laughs> he is a he is a spendthrift. That guy will. He's not someone who likes to save his save his resources. Nice block and punish then again, again. Down back four into the CD two, and that that is a common strat because uh, down back four is minus one on hit, but CD two high crushes. So so was was Ferg, was Kane feeling himself a bit there because he just went for the the big, big unblockable, unblockable again. Yeah, and. I don't know if that's a good idea. Like he was, he's got a, a lead in the set, but it's still very competitive. I don't know if he necessarily wants to be going for the crazy stuff. Okay, and we just saw Kane going for the down forward three into while standing four. So I think he maybe uh, 
will go for a mix-up after that one block. Maybe fish for the counter here. Oh, he does a forward forward two just frame. And goes into Indian just for style points. Kabuki knee. Alright, it's gonna be one. a tough a tough guessing game for Phantom here. Okay, side wall. Oh, Rolls and out. this is a bad position for Kane. No, no. no. that is but Kane doesn't punish. punish. Nice throw break there yeah, from the Phantom. Classic. Does the kamikaze faint? Still feel like Kane is swagging out maybe a touch too much in some of these situations. He's going to do a low. But He's guess gonna what? Can it close the timeout? Ooh. And they are battling between the last Kay. few pixels. The Phantom has is he just the gonna, lead. Is he just going to run away? Drive. Yeah, Raise drive or su suicide. And yep, there we yep. go. That's all he could have done. All right, time for time for Kane to come back to two rounds, which will almost go to timeout, and yeah, then we can have we a, a, a last round, which will almost go to timeout. timeout. <laughs> That's been the story of this uh, matchup today. Nice block and launch punish there. Oxford a two, uh, Dragonfly two, puts his sword away, goes into no sword stance. Okay, so that's a common strat that Kane likes to do while standing forward into the kin forward one. No punish there on the NSS shoulder. It's minus thirteen, but crushes highs. So yeah, it's a tricky, it's a tricky punish. But Raven does have down back two one. Two one, yeah. Puts, uh, gets the sword back out. Ooh, uh, ooh big flying whip. kick, but I think he just wasn't ready for it. I wouldn't have punished it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have punished it either, to be fair. Apart from maybe with jabs. Jabs, yeah. I would not have been expecting it to miss there. Must have, I knew oh, it was going to be range dead. drive, and yep, there we go. And that was the first match that didn't and go that to final round. <laughs> thank you, Phantom. All right, that's two all. Wow. So final match in the winner's final. This is an endurance bout here. And is that significant that Phantom like pulled away that much? He had I'm going to say now. like Kane is incredibly strong under pressure. Like One of his best traits is that he does not generally flop when he's in trouble. That's why they call him Murderface. I mean, they call him Murderface because of the expression. expression <laughs> the expression is to do with the fact that he doesn't he doesn't get nervous. Yep. But, you know, he's got a slight disadvantage here and Phantom nice is, yeah, Phantom is reading him quite well now. Phantom actually taking the lead now. Yeah, four straight rounds. He looks fairly comfortable now. Let's see, can Kane make any minor adjustments? Could actually launch punish that down three. And that's not the optimal punish for uh, down forward one four. I think it's down forward, he needs to do down forward one four. <laughs> I mean, sorry, down forward two, two four. four. Um, Slash kick. Maybe it's down back two one. Nah, never mind. But anyway, Kane, yeah, Kane needs to figure out some way of breaking Phantom down here. He's got the life lead. And he's, he's also got the positioning as well. Yeah, doing a better job of, oh, that's going to be big, big damage. damage. If, without the teleport, that is a huge damaging launcher. Could have maybe got a follow-up after the back four. And that's another one of the weird things about this game is that that, that unblockable now has a lot of range, which it did not used to have. Because she, does, she oh, actually uses the sword. Late. And Phantom, five rounds straight match and point. And he's on match point. Wow, brilliant uh, turnaround from the Phantom. Can Kane make the comeback? Brilliant whiff punish there from the Phantom. He is playing out of his mind. Oh, I think that was meant to be a back four. It was forward, forward, forward. Or forward, forward, forward. Wanted to get in that last distance to the breakable wall, but he's he's really far ahead here. Now he can just sit back and relax because he has the life lead. Kane has yeah. to take the risk. He's probably going to do a low. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah not there sure. we go. I, yeah, Told yeah, you. Yeah, I'm not sure what Kane, what, yeah, Kane is going to have to struggle quite a bit to get some real like mix-up damage in here. Okay, there we go. Gets Ops him into down two. Combo. Combo. That's the tech trap. That's guaranteed. Oh, nice. He Could was be dead. within seconds yep, of death, death there. Very nice. Kane's nice just conversion. bringing it back. He actually gets a round on the cards now. Right. After losing five rounds straight. He's got an almost half-life lead here, but... Brilliant spin away. Uh, that was meant to be a back 2-2. Two -two. I know the feeling. Look... I'm not going to say it looks like we are going <laughs> to a final round again. Oh, yep. Final, final this, round, And guys. this is the last one. This will decide it. He's going to get guaranteed top two. He gets him with the classic. Down forward one, two. Tekken three stuff. I mean, it wasn't in, in any of those earlier games. It just, it just really popped in in this one. But it was the one that Kane relied on a lot in his earlier gameplay. And... He brought it back and it's saved him briefly, and now he's got a big life lead. 
Whoa. Um, weird yeah, Spinaroonie. Phantom still not letting it get Has to him. Has to do something to get the life lead now. Kane's probably just going to sit back and relax. Nice jab Throw break. There. He's got rage available. Is he going to spend it? Brilliant Ooh, block and very punish. nice. There we go. Punish. And Kane that is, is on it. to Garen Finals. What a <laughs> wow. I don't feel like this is a great matchup against Raven. It's all right. Mainly just like just do a downfield one and then yeah. hop kick him when he misses. So there. I don't know. I guess maybe we'll see if he's got something to go for. I don't like the fact that it's one of the uh, Raven is one of the characters that that very consistently launches her um, her lows. She has a very long range, minus 14 uh, 14 frame while standing launcher. Uh, why does he go for the snake edge there? This is this, seems this is offline, not online. Seems very weird. Okay, maybe he's just getting used to Katarina. <laughs> yeah. Seems strange, like because he was he was playing really well with Josie. Yeah, like it seemed like he was really getting into his rhythm, and now he's just playing this there character go, that see? gets launched for like, <laughs> all of a load. Like I mean, maybe he figures he's got he's got a first to three, and he can he can kind of you know he's got one game to play with, but I don't know. But Phantom showing his dominance. Like Phantom is also a very emotional player. And I don't know if you necessarily want to give him a lot of confidence by just kind of giving him a free win by, no nice offense, by there. picking this, this this character. Brilliant punish. Yep. Spinaruni. I think she can either punish. She can also punish that with uh, punish a that, four yeah. or three strings. Um, but, yeah, in general, uh, yeah, and he's dead. That was three rounds. And... Fairly comfortable round. So. Yeah. I don't want to say the words, but I can spell it out for you. F R double E. He has to change, man. He was playing so well with Josie. I don't know why he would make the switch to Katarina. Because he's a very good player. He should go geese. Um. Everyone should go geese, Marco. Why don't Why don't we all just play geese? Oh, go go, with Josie. On the hammerhead stage, Buki side. Why does it start off at an angle? <laughs> His geese is good. Everyone's geese is good. My geese is good. I've never played the character before in my life. <laughs> All you do is back free too. Um, right, so we're back to one of the stages. We've seen this one a few times, but... I'm not a fan of the stage. Yeah, again, I think it's a solid. It's a solid matchup for Josie. She can control the range very well. That the Phantom likes to fight at. She's, you know, Crash Dash Three is not very punishable at all. It's, a, it's, it's, it's totally doable. I, I don't know why he's worried. And that is very controlling in that space. Oh, the wall was already there, so he couldn't really adjust his wall combo. Oh, a bit late on the while standing one yep. punish, but a brilliant punish on the back turn. I respect. I respect the gamble there. The crouch dash two. Oh, she could have ducked that. No, but that is that not guaranteed. Just punish Ooh, that. Nice. I think a bit messy here. Like so some of the defense isn't isn't really on point, but nice. that is indeed guaranteed. So Phantom opting for the low mid mix up because he had to make a decision there, but the decision did not pay off, and a big counter hit for Phantom. The Phantom, <laughs> and a lot of damage here. Over fifty percent into Oki. Down back three, and that's that dead. is guaranteed. Back turn two, one, four. So two very quick rounds. Yep. He just runs right into that. Yeah, that is that is one of Phantom's classic moves. He does like, he loves to pull people into Court Cycle Ford 4. Uh, again, so it's a move that Josie can punish reasonably well. Oh, Ooh, goes for a swag combo, doesn't quite pull it off. But. Oh, brilliant Ooh. counter here. This could Strange. be a start of a very nice comeback. Yeah. Low. No, it doesn't go for the low. Nice duck there, but no punish, and that's dead. Phantom always goes for that straight <laughs> towards the end of the match. He's probably uh, going for a low crush there. He does like to start the round with that kick as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a safe low. Why not? Nice duck, but yeah, the combo is going to be quite weird because it's back turn. Yeah, that's a that's pretty much her her super reliable combo ember. No follow up uh, on the spinner Rooney because of the angle, or the axis, I should say. Counter hit, that's guaranteed. Brilliant. Could have maybe delayed more and got a full launch instead. 
going to be very, very close. Rage Drive is coming. I can feel it. Yep. I, I think you're right. It. I Any feel second it. now. Battle of the Rage Drives. Of the there, a big whiff. No whiff no punish. Way. No duck as well. And brilliant Ooh. punish there. So a bit messy and sloppy from both of them. Yeah. But you can see, like, this was definitely the choice to make. It yeah, was it's not, like... That Katarina was just a free game he gave away. And that's why you got to be careful with that move, you see, because he didn't have the... Uh, Gets him he didn't. He tried to do his forward and two forward, which is his supposedly reliable punish, and it, it didn't work on that. you got to have a punish ready for uh, quarter circle forward four. Very tricky character to play against. And very Turnover. rare pick as well. It was like unorthodox yeah. play. It's gonna not going to be dead. It's going to be close. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Natural combo. So he is up 2-0. Definitely much closer, definitely a much better pick. Yep, he went to final round, so uh, it worked out for him, but he was just a bit short. Catches him with the second. Risky. Not, not hyper risky against Josie, but risky. No ducks on the down forward 2 3 as well. Yeah, Phantom, you know, nice really knowing there. that he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of uh, room to play with now. He's got two free rounds. Nice. Catches uh, him with a counter Chicken Maru confirmed that that had been blocked, and he just finished it. Didn't Brilliant cancel it at all. Could have committed to the string, but... Wow, oh, that's not going to be dead. No, because it floated. He couldn't yeah. get the screw attack. It's going to be a low... Oh, down forward one into one jab. This is a very important match for Chicken Maru. He has to, he has to win this. Uh, Phantom's fight. I think Phantom's feeling himself a bit. That's guaranteed. Goes for yeah, the mid option. Chicken Mario is getting a bit nervous. His punishment was was on point earlier on. It's starting to fall apart a bit. The first time he's gone for switch dance scratch dash three in this set and it gets low parried. I think he's gonna he's in he's struggling a bit now. Phantom's in the zone. That was a good that was a good option there. Brilliant and block. another. And there we go, the match Phantom. Point. Set point, match point. He will will be facing his teammate, Kanan Trench, if Chicken Maru does not make a comeback. Wins three games straight. Brilliant parry there, and he opts for the side switch. He's the counter hit screw. I think he was going for back back two there. If I know Phantom, <laughs> why he suddenly got a counter hit out of nowhere. Baited. Wow, back turn one four. Yeah, he, to he's trying parry. to go for. He's trying to go for swag stuff now. I think he knows he's got... Counter he's got here. This could be pivotal for Chicken Maru if he gets the wall. Just short. He has to be patient here. He's probably going to go for a CD3 low. He has to do something. Brilliant Ooh, block that's and punish. No, Doesn't get the combo. And he's going to be close to close death. Close to death. Rage drives. Two down three. Rage drives. Rage yeah. drives. Waiting for it. Jabs. Switch. Dance. There we go. Rage drive. Told you, man. Charisma Rations to rise his Chicken Maru. He will be yep. going home with third place, but he lost to the Phantom twice. Right, like, spend your time wisely, innit? You can watch the stream <laughs> late. Oh, you can watch it now. Like, yeah, I don't think there's, and I don't think they feel like there's any major adjustments that like Phantom needs to make here, because oh, his 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 playstyle was winning him rounds before. Like, he's just. Like, it, there, there was nothing really between these guys in those sets up until that final game. So, you know, just needs to have confidence in his own game. Oh, wow, brilliant. very whiff nice. Punish. Hey, his whiff punish. On reaction. Kane, unfortunate, we have the whiff, the whiff CD2. Doesn't no duck, duck the dump, but 2-1. Yeah, Kane, Kane normally very strong from a defensive standpoint. Gonna flash, I knew it. Nice duck, but no, I'm standing 2-1 there. This is the disadvantage of having played... Uh, after such a long time. Uh, yeah, I, I've having to another haze both punches. But yeah, this yes, because they played winners final very early on in the set, and then you know in the in the tournament structure, and then Phantom has just been kind of playing consistently since you know he's just had a set with Chicken Maru. Yep. Kane still looking a bit rusty here, but we know he's gonna unrust. Nice punish yep. there on the back very turn. Very optimal. 
Nice patience there. there. And he, he figured out that he was going for the early cancel on the Big on the whiff sword there, spin. and he spent his rage. He has to make a big comeback, and there we go. Two rounds up, Master, oh, Master Raven's Phantom, <laughs> the Phantom's Master Raven. Oh, brilliant. Wow. He's done that three Hayes times. He is working at, like, doing AOP-type work for him at the moment. Uh, brilliant uh, back four spin to the back 2-2. Two two. He's opting for that uh, wolf splat with the down back 2-1. No punish on the down 2-2. Two two. Yeah, I think he was figuring, you know, there's, there's at least two options that can come out yep. after this. I might as well wait and see what they are. Nice break. Otherwise he's, he been, he's been breaking that. the push there. Oh, very nice dead. duck there. Phantom playing Takes on game point. one. Wow, and that was brilliant from Phantom, showing uh, a dominant performance from him. New Phantom strats. Yeah, maybe Sasambo. Yeah. Kane with the early life lead here. He's going to sit back and just defend. Maybe just poke a little bit. He doesn't need to do any mix-ups. Does not need to take any risks. Phantom is the one that has to. 2-2 two, two into down forward four. Right. Right. This, was mu this was more like the one we saw before. Okay, brilliant. Right. Low crush on the down back four. And the Interesting four. combo. Yeah, kind of gets a kin mix up out of it, but nothing nothing too dangerous. And that's going to be dead. Not quite. He gets. He knows Ooh, he has could have been yeah. race drive. Oh. Trades. But here we go. Kane actually ahead in the set. For the first time. Kane uh, trying to fish for the uh, two uh, one counter here. Gets the wall carry, does the back two delayed one. Oh, and I think that was a uh, jump stab up forward one, but he got up off the ground, avoiding the puddle. Yeah, the issue of the, if these guys trade from range, Kane has the slight advantage of safety and reward on counter here. In part because Phantom doesn't use while standing two that much. So he's got things like, you know, his full crouch down forward four. That's that's a full combo into a, into the wall. Like whereas R Raven is gonna just get down back four into you know a free Another ground one, hit. Yeah. <laughs> like so from if they're trading from range, unless we're in that situation, Yoshimitsu is always gonna have a slight edge. He's got forward forward four. Like they've both got strong mid range launches, but like Yoshimitsu just has a, a bit of an edge without while standing two and being in the mix. But that being said, <laughs> forward four, uh, still a scary move to walk into. And look at that, uh, he's lost 50% of health. He spins out and he's at the cost of a lot of health. Kane and Trench has to make a very big comeback, but he's <laughs> he's trying yeah. to go for that wall splat and not Yeah, because he, he, he knows that that wall splat also goes in that direction. Like, it, if it splats, it is to his right. Very nice, very nice duck. Big read. Okay, he goes for the dragonfly. He's going to go two. for the charge. Yeah, yeah. he's definitely going to go for that. That was the max damage, but he doesn't finish off with the flea two ember. Yep. Phantom's probably going to do a rage drive soon. Doesn't punish. What was that? That was big risk. Huge risk okay, from the Phantom. He spent his rage. There. He goes into haze. He's trying to go med to heal. And he can just... Ooh, so close! And that's oh. going to float. And there we go. Three rounds back. Yep. Answering back. 3-0, three 3-0. Nil, three nil. All right, so different, definitely a slightly different flavor to the last time these two fought, where it was just all back and forth. This time it's been back and forth, but games, not rounds. <laughs> uh, very nice uh, counter hit working in the Phantom's favor. He has the wall pressure now. Doesn't break the throw, Kane, but maybe a bit rusty still. Yep. Guess but what? nice punish on the last standing one. Yep. Not the most, not the most optimal punish, but it's still like it's, it's a much stronger punish than it than it used to be. Let's just say that for it. Um, Brilliant. Very nice with punish there from Phantom. But doesn't uh, get follow up. Hayes still doing work for him. You've been smoking too much Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> no duck on the dragonfly throw, and it's going to be one mix up. Doesn't have great. This is the thing: is that that move does not have great uh, follow ups. Yep. Very Honestly, very hard to pressure afterwards. So Phantom just chucked a rage drive into it, and that was it. Right, is this going to be three straight for the Phantom is the question. He's going to get a big combo here. He's going to... doesn't quite get the resplat, but that's still tons of damage. Natural combo does the 1-1. One, one. Goes for the mid option instead. Down back four. 
Just down barely needs three, to get one. anything. Just a full crash down forward three. It only needs to get rid of this. Okay, but he runs right into the rage drive, and yeah. he didn't get uh, the, the first hit of the three to the four. roll. Oh no, he goes for the he goes for the run. Goes into the root kick, but that <laughs> could have been a big punish. Yeah. Oh, big whiff there from Kane. Try to go for the rainbow drop. Yeah. Down back two into that back turn down four, and there we go. It's two rounds up. Yep. Going for the haze. Yeah, that time he that time he timed a, an option which hit low to the ground and was you know going to knock him out of pretty much everything. Okay, random kin does a kin free but side switches on count. Yeah, very. Like you get this kind of stuff in these kind of matchups. Yeah, he was definitely always going to spin out there. In that situation, you've got to you've got to think about homing moves. Forward one plus two, nice no throw grab. break. Low knew it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he spent his rage as always. That's Kane for you, and he doesn't down back three. Down back three does not low parry it. All right to it. Two, and there we go. One to Phantom. The Phantom. The Phantom is up two one, and these guys are just going back and forth with matches, not even rounds. So this is a potential bracket reset for the Phantom. Random CD1. Right, yeah. Goes into... Just goes for it. 2-3 to screw and doesn't get the optimal uh, carry. He doesn't take roll, but he somehow it hits him on the his side roll anyway. So there you go. Down forward 3-1 finishes the string. What what finishes what forward finishes and 3-3. Three, three. Three. <laughs> Should have blocked finishes that. Finishes that as well. Could have punished like that with Yeah, Kane has 12. just figured it, it's now time just to do... You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's really punish, but doesn't get the second hit. Nice patience and with punishment there from Kane. No punish there from Master Ravens. Down back four. Again, it's going to be hard for Raven to bring this back. Brilliant backswing. Wow, blow. does it? Master Raven even it up. Rage drives to rage fight. Drive, there yeah, we go. it was going to be who was going to who was going to hit the other guy's rage drive with his rage drive. <laughs> The games aren't actually looking close. It's just like momentum, yeah, yeah, yeah. momentum. I will say, um, Kane's Kane's defense is looking okay. His whiff punishment is not quite where it normally is. Like he normally he's very good at whiff punishing with while stand with either uh, down two two or uh, down four two, but hasn't quite been as on point as he normally is with that. Okay, nice very nice option there. there. Does the standing free? Finishes the down forward three one string. No launch punish there. Is this gonna be is someone is Kane actually gonna win a round? Brilliant nice. parry. Ninja stuff here. Kin parry, flip round. Finishes the string with the low. Spinner Rooney. Big read. Phantom recognizing oh, he's behind. Oh wow, nice patience there from the yep. Phantom. And this should be dead. Not quite. No, misjudges miss the, the risk distance to the wall. Okay, he's gonna do his yeah, I knew yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Should have punished that. One more mix up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, quite sloppy from the Phantom for the first time. Nice duck, but no punish there. Catches him with the full crouch down for four and counter hit, but no I combo. Don't, I think he maybe wasn't confident that was gonna that, that was gonna combo. He can crouch cancel a uh, three four into Dragonfly. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't break the tackle, but breaks the punches. Forward, forward, three, no kin to cancel. Nice. <coughs> uh, punishes optimally as that move is minus 13. Yeah, so the thing is that uh, Kane is just struggling to get Phantom out of there once he's got him down at the moment. He's just... He's leaving Phantom alive, and Phantom is gradually chipping his way back in. Nice float. Puts his sword away. Does forward, three, does... Uh, and we're shoulder. running out of time. Phantom with the big read again when oh, the nice time is punish. ticking down. Oh, and it's going to be low mid. I knew it. Gets the Rage drive. Yeah. Yep. No. Yep. no. Oh, and that's going to be gonna his round. Yep. yep. Style. <laughs> All right. The first non-3-0. <laughs> Doesn't no duck. duck. Nice punish there, but could have went uh, for down forward 1-4. Yeah, there isn't a huge. That's just one of the things. There's a huge amount of difference between his 13 and his 10, so it's all right. But damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It. Same, similar frames. And uh, the down forward one four Hayes having more one pushback. Plus two. The new top Raven move. Wow. Okay, I don't think that was deliberate from Phantom. No throw break again. 
gets in with the mid wall bounce. Does oh no, messes up the combo. he's lucky he did not get launched nice for that. Nice side was, roll. Yeah, he was begging to get hop kick there, but he's Kane, still Kane's still gonna in go it. for the rage drive. He's probably gonna yeah. opt for a high cross. He wants him to jab and just high crush and takes the round. There we go, spends yep. it early. One jab, goes for a down for three into a mix up. Side step one. Phantom still with a slight edge. He's, this is his reset Big point, whiff. and that's where Kane's whiff punishment has been. Yep. Like, that's what we haven't seen from him yet, because he's normally very efficient at punishing things with down 2-2. Two -two. Go back 2-2, two -two, Back 2-2, two -two, yes. Oh, punishes the forward 3 just with a single jab. Oh, he tries to flash, but Phantom being more defensive, uh, being aware of the flash. So yeah, that's not a not a terribly consistent punish from Yoshimitsu on 4-4-4, but he recognized that he was in that he was in range for it. It's get jab punishing the 4-4-4. But now we've got another one of these just really close matchups. Like suddenly they changed. They're back, we're back to where we were. Just really close battling for tiny amounts of life. Like back to where we were. No more no more of these 3-0-3-0s. Three -nil, three yeah, exactly like how it was in the first uh, set. History repeating itself. And nice he gets that grab. He's been struggling a bit with that one. Very that nice round. Yeah, there we go. Dead. And Kane actually Kane, getting a game. Kane bringing it back 2-0. Like I said, this guy doesn't feel momentum. He's just the same guy. He's always always fiending on trying to find some way to make a comeback. He's Kane. never like, oh no, I'm, you know, I might as well just give this set up. Okay, random CD1, a bit rago. Goes for the max damage wall end off. I don't Does think Raven can particularly punish it very hard. Just jabs in it. Does she have a 12 frame mid? Uh, crouch dash one. I think she can do forward and two three. Oh, Phantom's getting angry. This may be a. This is bad. Uh, he's uh, like I said. He can be an emotional player. So, and like I said, Kane is. Does nice. not play like that, but that's a very nice whiff punish for Phantom. Brilliant patience there. Being aware of the flash after no. plus frame. He's getting. Side step one. I move high crushes and it's safe on block. Yep. Count the hit launches as well. Oh, what? He tried to go for the, <laughs> the thing against Jack. Yeah. That Kay. is the classic. That that move is only plus one on block, so. Oh, what a step into the oh, flash. Oh, he's going and for some dead. eye musician stuff. Yep. All right, it's one round away. Phantom was so close to reset, and now. He's Kane. clearly on tilt. Yeah. Kane is only one round away. One round away from equaling the set. One round away from winning. Is it's it? Two all. Two all. Yeah. Damn. He's he's won. He's grand champion if he wins this. Damn. Brilliant comeback then. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, I think Phantom's just feeling this slipping slipping away, but he gets the grab. He's been doing a lot of crouch dash into one, the one throw. Manages to get the both punches throw. Down back three Down back again. Three. It's, it's blockable on reaction if you're ready for it, but you know, okay, there's a lot rage. of stuff to think about here. Very, very important round for Phantom. Loses this and he's out. No launch See, punish. This is baited very tricky because of the range for this character. That's guaranteed. Forward and two turn. three, I think, is optimal. Uh, uh, manages okay. to break it. That was Rage critical drive. that he break that he broke that. Otherwise, he would have died. Yep. One one. Gets nice the grab break. break. Rage drive. Rage drive. Yep. Yeah, there we go. He knows how to approach. He's still got the life. Nice. Oh, should have punished. Oh, oh he got it. it anyway. I was kind of sloppy, but. Phantom just needs to calm down now, with that round on the board. Oh, yeah, big whiff there. Kane, Kane deciding he's going to pressure just a bit more here. Just going to pull some stuff out of Phantom, see if he can get him to commit to something big. Well, because his whiff punish uh, is on yeah. point now, yeah. Block punishment, as well very as good. If you just do single jab, there's no risk of the power crush. Maybe he could have gotten the haze, double punches there on the full crouch, down for full whiff. Yep. Does back two. That heat. Haze is actually pretty good, you know. I'm, I'm, it's making me a believer. This is some good shit. But gets gets the punishment. Spends He's his got turn him with the Dragonfly got, Four. Got him backed into Dragonfly the wall. Four again. He's not risking the throw, and I like that because he knows he's in the lead. He knows the Dragon, the Dragonfly Four is still leaves him in a solid, solid position. But Phantom will not go down. Throw break, but position change. Nice block. No, Ooh, too obvious. No. Too obvious. And there we go. That's the game. No, it's not. It's not. Side wall. No! Oh. Told you. Phantom, Phantom kind of threw his bad there. Very salty. But, but GG's, I guess, and 
Kane and Trench is your Red Bull Revolver 3D Edition Round 2 Champion.